Now that you've had an opportunity to see the different types of retractors, we've looked at the automatic locking retractor and the emergency locking retractor to this point. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna carefully examine a switchable retractor. Switchable retractor is one of the most common types of retractors that you're going to find in automobiles nowadays. Not the only type, but maybe the most common. A switchable retractor does exactly what it says. It allows you to go from one mode to another mode. When we start out with a switchable retractor, you can pull the webbing in and out freely. This accommodates your older children or your adult passengers and allows them to stay in the seat and allow the seatbelt to function in a pre-crash position if that were to happen. Now, in order to switch it over to engage the switching mechanism associated with the switchable retractor, we're gonna go ahead and pull the webbing slowly all the way out. When we get to the very end of that webbing and it stops, we're gonna let the webbing go back in slowly. When the webbing goes in a small portion, we're gonna stop. We're gonna to try to pull it back out. You're gonna notice that the webbing won't come back out. And as it was retracting, you're gonna notice that you could hear a clicking sound in most cases. What we have done is we have switched that retractor from its emergency locking mode for your adult passengers to an automatic locking mode. An emergency locking retractor will only lock in an emergency, such as a sudden stop or a crash. The webbing will flow freely unless pulled upon quickly. Correct installation of a car seat requires the lap portion of the seatbelt to be locked at all times. To secure a car seat with a switchable retractor, you must switch the retractor from emergency locking mode to automatic locking mode. To do this, Pull on the seatbelt webbing slowly until you can't anymore. Then feed the webbing back into the retractor. You may hear a ratcheting or a clicking sound. You know the retractor is locked if the webbing will only shorten and not lengthen any further. To reset the retractor back to emergency locking mode, you must feed the webbing all the way back into the retractor. It will then unlock and flow freely again. Now a couple of tech tips. When an ALR retractor or a switchable retractor is in the ALR mode and is locked, the seat belt will only shorten it will not lengthen. To reset to the unlocked position, unbuckle the belt and release the webbing back into the retractor. Check the seatbelt label. It often provides clues as to what type of retractor it is.